and welcome to Docplex's Health Minute. Researchers from ICMR conducted a study to identify immune responses in people with breakthrough and natural COVID-19 infections, suggesting that immune response induced by Omicron could neutralize all variants of concern including the most prevalent Delta variant. This finding implies that infection by other variants is less likely once infected by Omicron and the focus should be on Omicron-based vaccine strategies. The USFD has approved 40 mg of mepolizumab in pre-filled syringes for severe eosinophilic asthma in children aged 6 to 11 years. Mepolizumab is indicated for add-on maintenance treatment and can be administered to patients at home by trained caregivers. Researchers from Portugal have identified mutations in both the copies of the BUB1 gene, a critical gene for cell division in two patients who presented with microcephaly, developmental delay, variation and segregation of chromosomes. These mutations are responsible for developmental impairments and can be useful in diagnosing rare syndromes. The findings of this study have been published in the journal Science Advances. Researchers at the University of California have found elevated levels of proteins in samples of COVID-19 survivors after analyzing their cerebrospinal fluid. This can be due to inflammation induced by the virus resulting in a brain fog that manifests as sluggish thinking, calculative and analytical abilities. The findings of this study are published in Annals of Clinical and Translational Neurology. How can a cognitive issues following COVID-19 infection be addressed and managed? Let us know your views by commenting below. Health Minute. The most liked segment of Docplexus brings you the latest happenings in the medical field. Stay tuned for more insights. Happy Docplexing!